Hey guys, welcome back to Think Making. I'm Anton, and today I'll be reviewing this PLA Plus filament by Eason. It's supposed to be very strong, so let's get to it. PLA is known for being one of the easiest materials to print with while maintaining a good print quality. Yet, it lacks strength. Eason's PLA aims to solve this by being 10 times stronger than regular PLA and by being more flexible and resistant to cracking. So let's see if their claims hold up. Eason is a Chinese-based company that tends to make great filaments. It seems like no matter the filament material, the box is actually always the same, which in front has their logo and some general claims about their filaments. Besides that, one of its sides has their contact information and another has a label indicating the type of filament inside along with a cutout through which you can see the filament itself and a QR code, which if you scan with your smartphone will direct you to Eason's website main page. I would really prefer to see this take you directly to the page for the specific filament as it would be more useful. Inside the box, you may be greeted with this product catalog slash user manual which displays all their different materials, their features, and recommended print settings. Besides being useful, it's nice to see something else inside these boxes. The filament will come nicely packed in a sealed bag, which I always enjoy tearing apart. In regards to the spool itself, it's held together by two big screws and is transparent, which is very helpful to check how low on filament you are. It also has a label indicating the type of material and recommended print temperatures. You'll also find openings to hold the filament throughout the whole spool. This isn't the best winding I've seen, but it never became a real problem. The filament itself is perfectly smooth. It has a consistent diameter, and breaking it is super hard, even if you try many times. So I went ahead and tested its printing properties. Using an E3D V6 at a point with layer height, I found 210 degrees Celsius to be a great printing temperature. Yet, this may vary for you. As usual, I printed a calibration cube, a 3D Benchy, and a Marvin, along with other designs I considered would be benefited by this filament. The calibration cube turned out perfectly, with very well-defined corners and letters. The same goes for the Marvin and the 3D Benchy. All details, overhangs, and bridges were made with no trouble. There was no stringing present, which is also very good. So as expected, it prints just like normal PLA. Knowing about the enhanced mechanical properties of this filament, I went ahead and printed a catapult to ratchets and some carabiners. I printed this catapult to see if this filament can actually flex without cracking. And man, it does flex. Plus, it always returned to its original shape, even after many uses. Knowing it does flex, I printed this ratchets, which are actually one of the few designs that work both to tighten and loosen screws. They both printed very nicely, and the ratcheting action was nice and strong even after a lot of use. But this filament is all about being strong, so I wanted to print something that actually required that strength to be useful. So I printed two carabiners which have a door that is able to open and close due to the flex resistance of this material. To really test them out, I tied one end of a rope to each carabiner and then attached them to some exercising equipment I have hanging in my room. Then, I went ahead and did something that could have gone all wrong. Two carabiners holding my weight was amazing, but stepping it up was totally necessary. That is a single 3D printed carabiner holding 160 pounds. How cool is that? As far as I can tell, this filament is simply amazing. It prints as easy as PLA, but is 10 times stronger. Plus, it won't crack as easily when flexed and it won't break the bank. I definitely encourage you to try this filament for yourself. I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description along with all the 3D models featured in this video. Well guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to support my channel through Patreon or by buying a cool t-shirt like this one in my merch store. At the end, it all goes towards making better videos for you. If not, liking and subscribing would also make my day. Again guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.